I just installed Sage, and I thought I would break it in by running through the probability of winning a million dollars on Deal or No Deal with Howie Mandel. I'm not going to worry about things like expected value or bank offers in this short video. I have my eye on the big tamale, the million dollars. I'm not going to worry about the other suitcases. Now when you first start, and there are 26 suitcases on the floor, your chance of winning a million dollars is 1 out of 26, which is 3.85%. Once you open up a suitcase, and assuming you don't open up the million dollars, you've now increased your odds to 1 out of 25, which is 4%. It's pretty clear that the function is 1 over x, where x is the number of suitcases remaining. So we can take this function and we can plot it on a graph. Now you have to read this graph backwards, from right to left, not left to right because you start with 26 suitcases and you eliminate them one by one until there's only one left. So you can see that your probability of winning a million dollars is pretty abysmal for about the first three quarters of the game. And then once you get down to about five suitcases remaining, it skyrockets. Uh, that is, assuming you're lucky enough to have gotten down to only five suitcases without eliminating the million dollars somewhere along the line. Now, it might seem a bit surprising at first that the graph looks like this. Uh, why does your probability slowly, slowly, slowly go up and then suddenly shoot up at the end? Well, that's because the difference between, say, a 1 out of 24 chance of winning a million dollars and a 1 out of 23 chance is a whopping 0.18%. So at the beginning of the game, if you eliminate one suitcase, you've increased your odds by about one-fifth of one percent. However, near the end of the game, say if you go from a one out of three chance to a one out of two chance, that is if there's three suitcases left and you open up one, you've increased your odds there by almost 17 percent. So at the end of the game, when there's only a few suitcases left, every choice you make makes a huge difference. But at the beginning, nobody cares. And this, you kind of know that intuitively, right? The game could have had 30 suitcases or 100 suitcases. It wouldn't have made any difference because nobody cares until you get down to the wire and there's only those few suitcases remaining at the very end. Now, this graph is all well and good. Uh, sure, if you get to five suitcases left, you can watch your probability go up, and that's great. But what's the chance you even get to only five suitcases left without having eliminated the million dollars before that. Well, let's see. The first suitcase you open, you have a 25 out of 26 chance that you won't open the million dollars. In other words, 96% of the time, the first suitcase you open won't be the million and it'll still be on the table that you could still possibly win it. Now, the next suitcase you open, uh, well, what's the chance of opening two suitcases and still having a million dollars on the floor? Well, you have to, you have a 25 out of 26 chance for the first suitcase you open, and then the second suitcase you open, you have to open up one of the 24 non-million suitcases. So you have 25 out of 26 times 24 out of 25, and so on and so forth. So the chance of you opening two suitcases without eliminating the million is 92%, which is still pretty good, you know, 96, 92. Uh, and if you do the cancellation, the formula turns out to be x over 26. So we can plot this formula as well on the graph, and you'll see that it's just a straight line, which makes sense. So uh, your chance of getting to five suitcases left and still having the million dollars somewhere on the floor is about 20 percent. So we can actually plot both of these graphs at once, and you can see a nice little picture there. Um, and there you have it. That's the chance of winning a uh, million dollars at Deal or No Deal with Howie Mandel.